Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. Come on out, it's a great show in Rosemont, Illinois in November. With that said, Adam, what's your last name? Inglehart. And Adam, you brought a legendary car. What'd you bring today? I brought the Sox Martin 1968 Hemi Barracuda. <laughs> and let's go right to our featured attraction. So the Sox and Martin Hemi Barracuda. Now, first of all, just a little history on these cars. These were what, factory built drag cars? Yeah, um, about 65 cars total. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, that being said, a lot of people could own them, but only a few guys could turn on the wind light, and Ronnie was one of them. Um, turn on the wind light, I like that. Come on over, let's take a look at the front of the car. So how long have you had this car? About 15 years now. Uh, I did the restoration on it years ago for a gentleman named Clark Rand. To say I've had it for 15 years, it has been owned by uh, Clark for 15 years. Um, he recently passed away, now it's owned by his wife, Colleen Rand. Okay. But I've, I've had it in my possession for the last 15 years anyway. So is this, I mean, is it just a museum piece? I mean, what happens with this car normally? Because, I mean, the Saxon Martin name is legendary in the drag racing circuit. And then this is the winning car. Absolutely. This is not yeah. a car like the winning car. This is it. Yes. So share with us, when we look at these, and I'm going to go around the back of it, share with us some of the distinctive features of uh, this car when, we, when we're looking at it, of how you know it's a real one of those 65 cars versus some of the other ones. All right. Well, the car starting off is going to have fiberglass, fenders, hood, um, and no back seat is a pretty easy giveaway. Um, the car will have half thickness glass, half thickness doors. Let's show that. Let's take a look at that. I want to just feature the all-important Barracuda, the S, the formula, S there. Show me what you mean by the, the, the doors and the thickness. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up, but if you listen to the quarter panel, and then you listen to the door. Oh yeah, do that one more time. Oh yeah, that's a difference. Much, much thinner. And then the glass, if you can see it here. Yeah. Um, much, much Oh yeah, thinner. super thin. I mean, there's like a hand, you know, you can compare that. And they're all painted that classic Sox Martin blue. Is that right? Yeah, Sox Martin did all their windows blue and uh, their headlights blue. So every Sox and Martin car was blue. Now, on the interior, I'm noticing things missing that would be natural for yep. a drag car. No door cranks, uh, because all, this, all the Hemi cars had this strap. Uh, you'd raise and lower the window with the strap, and it would attach down at the bottom of the door. Um, I try not to yeah, no, put the window great. up a Thanks. lot. Yeah, and then you've got no mirror. That's a mirror delete, that's 68, uh, Hemi car only. Uh, Dart and Barracuda would add those. Um, and I guess some Australian cars, maybe. Does this car do any vintage racing, or just stri strictly at this point a show car? It's pretty much strictly a show car. The oh. tires on it are, are originals, and they're impossible to find. So to drive it um, isn't that practical. The tires could come apart. And did it actually have drum brakes on the back that I'm seeing? Absolutely, yeah. Wow. Um, wow. So it had the keystones. Drums stones. on the rear with discs on the front, which was stock on a Hemi it's super stock. Stocker. So you've got the bolt right into the tire so that it doesn't slip, as you can see. And the blue line, you can even see it if we get close. You can the see blue, the originality of the blue streaks. And there's no tread on that tire whatsoever. Can we take a look in the trunk for a second? Great. So this is just or ornamentation. I mean, this is not where you put the gas in this thing. Yeah, you do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yes. Later on, um, when the car would have been updated, you know, they would have put a fuel cell in the trunk. Yeah. And I'm sure at one but, time but this car did have this it. time frame, that's what that's they had. That's exactly what it was. So this car is completely time period correct. Yes. Obviously, we wasn't expecting a tire. We've no. got the battery in the back. And that's, and that's stock, factory. Cool, super stock Mopar 
battery, might I add. And we've got our bracing. There's our fuel. Yeah. What kind of fuel? Signatures by everybody. Let me give everybody a hand. Yeah. Buddy. Wow. Anybody Bob? Bob Briggle, the Willy King. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Wow, that's that's an interesting piece right there. Alright, we'll, we'll close that. Always enjoyed the glass on this car in the back. It's just so cool. Let me take a look at the interior. Let me give people an overall look first. Now you've, you know, we're gonna start this car. Tell me something unique about the seats you were sharing with me. Well, they're seats out of like people kind of would recognize them out of a, a, maybe a Ford Bronco yeah. or a Dodge A100 pickup or van or something like that, a cab over. Um, and they're very similar. They're identical fabric, everything except for a Hemi car folds. Only the Hemi cars fold. So if you see one and it don't fold, that means it's not the right seat. For yeah, the car. They don't fold easy, but they fold. I saw that and I appreciate you folding that. We've got obviously nothing in the back, as yeah. you would expect. I want to show the lowest model interior and door panels. And that's correct. Now, what is, Adam, what is this? It's a, I believe it's a participant tag for uh, Indy, for the U.S. Nationals. Cool. For 69. Um, a lot of people remember this car from, they had a Fram ad that pretty much was shot from the back seat of this car, saying right along with Ronnie Sox, and <laughs> you might recognize the, uh, the dash layout and the, everything from that. That's super cool. When I sh yeah, show either, this, Peter and Radio Delete in a '68 Hemi car too. Now, who signed this? Buddy Martin. Buddy Martin. Yeah. So here's your actual car, and we're sitting in it. That's pretty That's cool. Yeah. That's. Here's your limited edition 118th Saxon Martin car, and we're getting the chance to sit in it. And that's pretty cool. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? We'll keep that uh, there. Let me make sure I got the front shot just before. I think I did, but I want to double. grab and the pull. Now this was how it was in the factory in 68. Well, kind of. Um, Tell me what they, obviously he's drag racing and he was a winner, so I'm assuming that there's extra stuff in. Yes, there is. Uh, it would not have had the cool can. Okay. Um, yeah. and it, it would have, yes, and it would have had a factory style motor mount instead of these, what they call elephant ear motor mount. Okay. And these are factory socks and Martin pieces. Along with the distributor, um, now you say fa I see actually there's, there's a little stamp socks and Martin. Yeah, let me show that. Wow. Okay, go and, ahead. And the distributor was a stock socks and Martin piece. Um, because you, socks and Martin. Did this all come with the car, or was this stuff we had to find? Uh, How do you find that? Doing it for a long time. Doing That's it how for we a long find time. it. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that Socks and Martin, a lot of people think they made money drag racing. Well, as any drag racer would know, very few people make money drag racing. Um, so, what they did is they built race cars and they had a mail order catalog for performance parts. And, and these are some of the parts you could have ordered. Out of price, out of Socks and Martin's store. So it was, it was that was how it was done. That's how they're making the money. Now you look at the motor, too, and it's this color of blue, which is Ford blue, um, which people would think is odd. But Jake King, who was Socks and Martin's mechanic, 
was originally a Ford mechanic and a Ford fan, so he painted all of the motors from Stocks and Martin this color blue. Um, did did uh, Chrysler ever get uh, frustrated with that or no? Like I said, if you don't turn the wind light on, they might get frustrated. <laughs> but it's hard to yell at a guy. Yeah, when you're winning, you yeah. just the, the winning uh, covers a lot of it issues. Does. It covers it all. Just do that right there. Um, I was talking earlier about history, and you see this tag, how it's not. It hasn't been restored. Yeah, that's and wonderful. The, and the reason it hasn't is because you can see different layers of paint and different colors of paint, like this yellow. And all those colors correspond to the color it was when it was owned by a previous owner. Yeah. So that's the reason for not restoring it, not to lose that history. What is this right here? This is Hurst. That's a, uh, a line lock for the brakes, for uh, the burnout box. Not burnout box. One of the tires. Yeah. Well, there's only one thing left to do with this one. I think we should fire it up. Just, what do you think? We should fire it up. Let's do it all. See, subscribe to the channel. I have one question for you. When I was on this side, tell me what all of this means. So this was the car's number that, at that race event. So this is trying to replicate the car when it was at Indy for the U.S. Nationals in 69. And tell me what this means. That means that it won this in a previous race. That was a $5,000 bonus for a previous race that Ronnie had won. So Hurst gave him the sticker to put on the car. That is pretty cool. So let and me that stands take. for Super Stock B. Super Stock B. Because it has a stick. Because it has a stick. So we'll just focus on that Plymouth and the Sox and Martin. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Adam, thanks for being on my car store. Thank you.